Hey, Connor here at Neversink Farm, and I want to talk about the windstrip tray. And talk about what's the difference between this tray and other trays. Right? And you, have, you have kind of two categories of trays. You have, you know, uh, you have like your regular 1020 trays, which, you know, they're made out of like uh, thin material. Sometimes they, you know, add more. You know, maybe double it up, but it's blow molded. They're cheap, you know, but once you start adding up that you got to replace them a lot and that you have to have a bottom tray for it, you know, and the breakage, you know, it's something you got to consider. But that's just a regular old tray. And then there's another class of tray, which is these are injection molded. So they're thick, stiff, and last. They can last 30 years, so you're not really going to be replacing them. So you're kind of thinking of the cost of them over all of that time, which ends up to be incredibly cheaper than these, which you know get, have to get replaced. Now, in the world of injection molded trays, the windstrip is different in that it, it has large bottom holes, and then it has these strips, two of them on each of these cells and also the holes, right? So that airflow can happen between all of the cells and you have root pruning. Those two things are really what set it apart. So what airflow does is it reduces overwatering, it reduces disease, it helps things dry out. You don't have water pooling on the top and a lot of mold growing, dampening off. All of those things are reduced because of that. Now root pruning, what it does is it stops the roots from uh, circling around the tray. And the benefit to that is that they can hold longer in a tray, which is nice because not everybody can get it uh, into the ground immediately. And it also reduces shock so that when you put it in into the ground, it gets a better start. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to start growing quicker because it's not have root circling on it. Those are really the two major things that separate this, right? So you have the durability, and then you have the root pruning and the airflow. Now, if you were gonna you know, do a side-by-side -side test, if you have the exact same volume of soil in this tray as in this tray, you're gonna have pretty much the same growth. It's, there's nothing gonna be different. So even if you were making your own pots out of uh, I, you know, an empty milk carton. If it's the same amount of soil and the same soil, it's, they're going to grow the same, right? So it's just that benefit of having the airflow and the root pruning, you know, as well as it lasting a long time. Then you have something called soil blocks, where you're pressing soil blocks. And the reason, you know, reason soil blocks are nice is because they have that airflow and they have that root pruning. So this sort of mimics that without all the hassle of wetting down your soil first, because you can put dry soil in here, and the hassle of pressing everything. And also, soil blocks tend to dry out faster because there's such an incredible amount of airflow in between them. Right? And so that's not good. Right? So this, you know, that balance of being able to water them really well, but them not getting overwatered, but also not drying out. You know, that's the key. And so let me just show quickly how to fill a wind strip. And all you need to do is put the soil in the tray, give it a light tap. That's it, because you don't want to jam stuff in there. Because what that's going to do is that's going to, if you jam it in there, it's going to make it harder to get the darts out. Right? And that's it, and you're done. That's as long as it takes to fill a wind strip. Right? And it doesn't fall through the bottom. Like people are worried it's gonna fall through the bottom, but it doesn't, right? There's a slight angle on the cells that just compress it just enough to kind of hold it. So here, just give it a little bit of a tap, not too much, right? If any need a little more soil, that's it, and you're done. Really nice. And that's everything to it. And the reason you don't wanna pack it too much is because it'll be hard to get the seedlings out, right? And you just overuse the amount of soil. Right? You want it nice and lightly packed. 
And that's one of the problems with soil blocks is because you have to wet it down, you actually compress the soil too much and you end up using an incredible amount of potting soil that you don't really need to use. You want it nice and light, right? You don't want it compressed, right? When I put my finger in here, you see, I can compress it and get it, you know, and I'll show you, look, you know, you're using way too much soil and it's going to make it much harder to get out. So you save a lot of potting soil by using a tray rather than a soil block. So that's really the, uh, that's, that's the wind strip and that's what it's about.